Peace, love, and life, family. It's Essie the Gardener. I'm out here uh, getting this uh, green stalk planted up. And what I decided to do was plant two different varieties on each side. So remember, each chair has six pockets. So over here, I planted my burpee um, lettuce and my four season lettuce on the left and the right. So I already planted these. I got my labels in there. And I put seeds in each slots three slots of burpee and three slots with uh, four season and then over here I did um, the red salad bowl the red salad bowl and the baby leaf on this tier right here so what I'm gonna start doing is stacking them and then my first two tiers the seeds are sold already and then I got three more to go so my other three I'm gonna do tomatoes on the last row and I think my second row, no, my third row is going to be bunching onions. My last row will be the either the Roma tomatoes or the poncettas. I'm thinking about doing the poncettas on the last row because the poncettas are so pretty in color. So I think that's what I want to do. But I wanted you guys to see what I was doing as far as getting everything sold up so what I need to do is turn this around a little bit more so that I can keep up and I can see what I have planted so this is what I did so I got three slots over here with the baby leaf spinach three slots over here with the with the uh, salad bowl uh, so what I'm gonna do is get the bunching onions over here and I should put something else in here though. I feel like I should put something else. Not sure. Um, I'll leave it at the bunching onions. I don't wanna make things complicated. And I got a lot of other stuff that I need to be doing, but I know I am so behind with um, this, this green stalk. So with the green stalk, on the manual, they recommend each type of seed. They give you the directions of each type of seed to sow, how many seeds you want to sow in each in each slot. Um, I'm not really being that technical about it, but um, you definitely don't want to be sowing a whole mess of seeds in one slot, especially when it comes to like carrots and tomatoes. You can't you can't do that. So, but these bunch of onions, I'm sure I can add a multiple amount of these because they don't take up a lot of space. So I'm, I'm finally happy about getting to this, even though I know I'm late, but at least I'm getting to it. And I don't know what's going on with you guys, whether... But I know for us, we reach an 85, and y'all probably see this sweat dripping off me right now. 85 is like 90. And again, I, I don't want to be doing much work in 90 degree weather. So um, I'm going to finalize some things. And whatever I don't get to this year, I'll get to next year. But I'm going I'm to push myself, but not to push myself to where I'll be passing out out here. Because it's, it's very hot. So I, I can't imagine what people are dealing with in different states like on the west coast but um it's hot here so this is my bunching onion and um hopefully these will germinate um real good so i'm gonna get her stacked in there make sure my label is showing and then with the poncettas. I feel like I should put some with the poncettas. The poncettas are so pretty when they grow. I've seen them. So, uh, I'm probably going to put three seeds in each slot just in case one seed don't germinate. Or maybe just two. 
because you definitely don't want to overcrowd this. So what you guys doing today? These are real tiny seeds as well. And I'm, what I'm trying not to do, I don't want to sow the seeds, the two seeds in the same hole. So if both seeds do this germinate, at least they have that room to grow. And I think they'll be fine if they both germinate. They'll have enough room to grow. Because this thing is, this is jam-packed with soil. So they should do just fine. Even if two grow in one slot, they should they should be just fine. So right, you guys, that is the poncetta. Let me get her in the front. Get her stacked. Okay, so we get over here with the Roma and the tomato. And I think when it comes to the tomato, let me turn her around. I don't know if you guys can see that, but y'all see it when I put her up. So with the tomatoes, the, the reason why I think I want to go to the top and not the poncetta, even though the poncetta is going to give off these beautiful colors, You'll still see the colors, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking I probably should have put the tomatoes at the bottom so that they have that room to grow up. If I need to switch out, I'll switch out, but um, I'm going to see what happens here. And these seeds are so small too. So I'm going to do three slots. Uh, what is it the yellow pear oh I look forward to seeing these y'all how many of you guys have grown the yellow pear before this is my first time so I'm going to put it. two on each side here and I'm, hopefully they have enough room to grow I'm sure they will. Let me get that little one in there. And then I'm gonna do three slots with the Roman tomato. It's gonna be, I'm gonna have multiple of so much stuff, but that's a good thing. Okay, so I'm gonna do one on each side. my best not to go too far down because I tend to do that so I'm just laying it right on top and let's see what we got some more This is your yellow pear, I mean, your Roma, and then your yellow pear. So we got three sides of Roma, and then three sides of Roma pear. And we're going to get her stacked, and then we're going to put the reservoir water over here. And again, everything was already prepped up, so really all I had to do was sow the seeds in here. All right. And this 
is our reservoir. So what you want to do is fill that up with your water, which I have my hose right here. And I'm just going to give it some water because I already had um, saturated the soil. I think that's what I'm going to start doing, saturate my soil before I plant my seeds because a lot of people use this straw stuff to keep their they seeds in place once they water them. I won't be doing that. I think I showed y'all that video with all that grass that was growing, so I was able to get most of it out, but I won't do that again. That would be one of my don'ts. So what I'm gonna start doing is just moisture in my soil first, put that seed in there, and then uh, do another light watering. Got it over here. Sorry about that, you guys. So this is the reservoir. Hold on, you guys. Let me get it situated right. Because it needs to be snapped on to your shelf like so. And then what this is going to do is it's going to drip all the water down into all the other pockets. So I'm going to fill the whole thing up and then I'm just going to let it drip down into the other pocket. It's already hitting the second one now. Going into the third one. I think once it hits the fourth one, it'll be good because we'll still have water in the reservoir that's going in. So it's it's in the third one now. And what I like to do is get another green stalk and put it on the other side of the garden. And maybe grow other things, but not probably not this year. I don't think I'm gonna do that this year. I doubt it very strongly. All right, you guys, it's hitting that fourth one. And this is pretty cool because this is a good way to not to waste water. So all right, you guys, it's in the, it's in that fifth one now. And this is still got water in it. So. There you have it. We got the yellow pear aroma, poncetta, bunch of onions, red salad bowl, baby leaf, burpee bib, and four seasons. All right, you guys. So the green stalk is finally planted. Yay! So um, where's my towel? Oh, here it is. So I'm gonna get to the other projects today. You guys will see what else I'm going to plant. And I'll bring that video to you guys. This sounds so pleasant. Can y'all hear that? Yeah, it sounds very pleasant. I think I'm gonna get me a, a, a waterfall fountain or a pond or something like that. It sounds so peaceful. Okay, so let me get to my next project and I'll see you guys on the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I probably should have planted a lot more, but like I said before, Essie running out of gas and um, I'm just glad to get something in it. All right, you guys. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Uh, thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, hit the notification button. I'll see you guys on the next video. This is Essie the Gardener. Peace, love, light, and I'm out.